Hi guys, it is 4.59 p.m. Today is January 20 and we don't have classes today. Wait, we don't have classes today. We don't have synchronous classes and I've already done my readings for the two subjects that we are supposed to have today. But hindi pa ako tapos attack so I'm gonna do that later. We also have an assignment for that kaya asynchronous kami. So, yeah, I'm just gonna relax a bit. I'm gonna watch Love Struck in the City. This is the K-drama that I'm currently watching. I love Ji chang Wook and Kim Ji-won. I love her so much. So, yeah, I'm on episode 7 pa lang ata. Kasi tumigil ako nung nag-midterms kami. So, yeah, I'm just gonna watch that and then resume studying later. Oh, by the way, guys, if it's not too much to ask, can I ask you a favor to like this photo right here i'm gonna be also putting the link down below so you guys can check it out it is for my cousin thank you yeah i'm gonna do your too soon i spoke you'll be heavy in my mind can you get the heck out i need rest now got me bummed out So guys, this is my fit for today. I'm going out. I'm just going to the bank and run some errands. Ayun. everyone so it's the next day and right now it's 12 23 and i just finished eating lunch you guys saw earlier that i went to the bank because um, i got my scholarship money and i deposited um a portion of it a big chunk of it for my savings and i just recently opened a bank account to be honest like mas nakakaipon pa ako ngayong quarantine compared noong um, my regular allowance pa ako. Even though mas marami akong ginagastos today, you know, you guys know that like I buy albums and stuff like that. Pero mas marami akong naipon ngayon. Siguro kasi like the cost of living in Manila is um, pretty high compared here sa province. And I also like um, spend for my meals there, for my transpo. But here I'm just like at home. I just think it's important na um, every time we... Um, get money like in any form like for example like compensation or like may mga nagbibigay sayo it's important to like just really um before spending anything just like set aside a portion of it for your saving 
Oh, by the way, I put up these posters on my wall, like for my recent video. I put them up and tinanggal ko na yung sehun poster because it's, I mean, I like it, but it's blue. It doesn't really like match what I'm going for. So, ayun. Um, also, asynchronous ulit yung klase namin today. So, I just checked and yung homework namin sa TAC, sobrang haba niya and sobrang lawak ng coverage niya. Like, yung coverage niya is um, the fundamentals of business taxation, VAT, other percentage taxes, and excise taxes. And yung discussion nun sa book is like 200 plus pages. So, um, it's a good thing na asynchronous kami ngayon. So, like, I can set aside my class for today. I'm so sorry, sir. Pero, like, I can study for tax because we have a homework, two homeworks, actually, due on Saturday. So, um, our midterms just finished, right? And, meron agad kaming schedule for final exams. I don't know how to feel about that. I'm definitely not ready yet. Uh, wala pa rin kaming mga bagong nalilesson. So, yeah, I'm just, like, trying to take it one day at a time. I know that we only have, like, more than a month before no not naman more than a month um less than two months more than a month nga pero less than two months bago mag end ang um first sem and i just can't wait for it to be over oh my gosh i have three semesters left and i'm done with college oh my god like basta ang bilis ng panahon like hindi ko na lang talaga namamalayan and uh, by the way, um, diba, I showed you guys yesterday that I was watching Love Struck in the City. There was this particular scene in episode 7 that really hit me. After mag sober up ni J1, he decided to throw his surfboard out and ganun din si, um, what the, what's her name? You know, or Sun, Sona? Sona? Suna? Basta si Kim Jiwon. Si Kim Jiwon at saka si Ji Chang Wook. They decided to throw the surfboards out. And yung surfboard na yun, um, for context, if you guys haven't seen the series yet, yung surfboards na yun, ginawa nila together. So, tig-isa sila dun. And ginawa nila yun nung sila pa. And this, they both decided to throw it out at the same time. Akala ko nga mag, magkikita sila dun sa parang, sa pinuntahan nila na parang office na para pag kumuha ng stickers ng big garbage. And then, si Kim Ji Won, at the last moment, parang kasing hiningi na lang nung guy, nung guy doon sa office, hiningi niya na lang yung, hiningi na lang nung guy sa office yung surfboard para daw hindi nilang itapon. And, at the last minute, parang nag-hesitate siya na ibigay doon sa guy. So, parang gusto niya pang ita itabi, itabi yung, yung surfboard. And then, si Ji Chang Wook naman, hindi niya na tinapon yung surfboard kasi biglang umulan. Tapos parang, um, sobrang ganda ng symbolism na yun for me. Like, si, yung sa scene ni G1, parang, um, yung dating niya sa akin is, uh, there are some experiences, some people, some places, or maybe just like some moments in life that we want to get rid of, pero we find it hard to do so. And sometimes, we tend to cling on it pa. Pero, it's better to just let it go. And, at the last minute, she was hesitating. I know that at some point, we all feel that way. Pero, she decided to just, you know what? I'm just gonna let it go. And it was hard for her. Pero, she did it. And with Ji Chang Wook naman, parang, same then. Like, of course, there are still some things, people, places, experiences that we hold on to even if they're already long gone. And, he just knows to himself that he's not yet ready to let go of it. He's not yet ready to, like, go out and explore more. And I just, you know, there's beauty in it. He's just, like, patiently waiting. He's just enduring the pain. He's like, you know, I'm just gonna let this go. I'm just gonna wait for the time that I'll be okay again and then I'll be good. Ganon. Yung symbolism nila. Like, they're two very different people. But I just, I just love the characters. Kahit pa na ghost ni, ni Ji Won, si Ji Chang Wook. And I just, I just love it. And I love the fact na hindi siya ganun kahaba per episode. Mga 30 minutes lang ata per episode. So, it's very easy to watch. Unlike like other K-dramas na sobrang haba. And I just love the story. Ayun. I'm just gonna clean my room a bit. Kasi medyo nagiging dusty na yung surfaces. And then I'm gonna, again, read for taxation. Grabe. Ah, oh my gosh. I got a new zit. I'm not happy about it, pero 
Ayun. That is that has been my life lately. <music>